God that the brothers on the rise now. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we are going to talk about the Cameroon music industry. We're just going to chat about it, you know, about the controversies on social media, about the reduction of foreign music here in Cameroon. So that's what we're going to chat about. And before we begin, I would like to thank all those who have subscribed to my channel. Those who are watching my videos, you all are so, so, so amazing. Thank you all for the love you've been showing me. Today, I am going to introduce to you my husband. And we are going to chat about the Cameroon music industry. The very, very first guest in this channel. Welcome, my sweetheart. Thanks, love. It's a pleasure being here. I'm so happy to have you here today. Now about the Cameroon music industry, we know there are a lot of controversies on the internet about the reduction of foreign music. What do you have to say about that? Oh. Um, greetings all the viewers. It's a pleasure being here and thank you for subscribing and supporting my wife. You are good. Um, to answer your question, I want to start first by saying I'm not an expert, but I will just be giving my view in the field. At least I've been an observer when it comes to entertainment industry, and uh, of course I have some views and uh, experiences I would like to share with you. So, yeah, yeah so. Um, that being said, um, concerning the what is going on now in the Cameroonian music uh, industry, um, specifically about the rationing of uh, music, uh, foreign music, and Cameroon music, mm -hmm. I think it's, um, it's interesting following the views of the other actors um, is always good to get like from the both sides yeah. so i think they have their points each of them have their convictions and uh, what is uh, right or wrong maybe it's not like it's not fixed it's not like something that is can be determined we have to go from your convictions and then you see with, with, and the result you will be getting that is what will determine if you are in the right path or in the wrong my opinion about rationing music i think just like in uh, with every other thing when it concerns um, international trade rationing is always like um, it could be a good tool to promote um, your local production, your home uh, production. But um, I have my reservations when it comes to the music industry. And this is um, why. Um, the music industry is not the same thing like uh, we can say production of local crops or rice, for example. The music industry today has develop into something that is global so it's not about what you play in your home country or what you don't listen to that will promote that will go the industry mm -hmm. because what if the government decides we say okay they decide to ban the, they say okay let's in, impose a restrictions we we'll play 20 percent foreign music 80 percent over the radio station how many youths or how many people listen to the radio now for music nowadays i think um it won't be an understatement or exaggeration to say about 80 percent of music lovers now turn on to social media social youtube music. streaming sites yeah. for music so a band or a reduction of a 
foreign music will not really have the impact that those who are poor are expecting. With that said, why do you think the Cameroon industry, the Cameroon music industry does not have that popularity? Um, the, um, that is a very good question. Uh, why the industry is uh, not flourishing like the, the borders or the sisters industry in, in Nigeria and other countries, for example. Um, I think uh, several factors account for that. Uh, in my opinion, um, I will start one. Um, in um, let me start from the beginning. Anyway. And uh, you know, they call it an industry for a reason. And uh, industries, they are not just constructed in. Uh, uh, in air or on the air like that is like uh, it's just like a house you need a foundation you cannot just come and then you say oh the industry without foundation is like so for me for an industry to flourish or to to bloom you need like a, a base um, the Cameroon music industry for example like when we use the term Cameroon music industry we are being too big because um, we know about Cameroon has been a music country for a long time way before we were born and in, in, the, yeah, in the days of our fathers and grandfathers Cameroon was among the top African countries when it comes to music you know Makosa has been very popular, Manu Di Bango and the, the Boalotin, they were very um, successful artists. So when we talk about the Cameroon industry, like that is like we have to maybe decide what firstly which area because I think when we talk Cameroon industry I'm meaning the urban music like this modern artist and the music scene um, and I think there we have I see a problem when it comes to the foundation of this urban music because uh, I think we um, was built on false like um, fantasy illusion because most of these artists today, when they saw the success of Nigerian artists, they decided, oh, we want to blow too, we want to like... But they started, some started going to the studio, coming out, doing music, we don't, with that, without even thinking of the base, what is your music based on, what is, or what is the foundation of this music scene, the music industry you want to, to create. Um, one of the mistakes we people usually make when it comes to building stuff is like they always compare with the, their predecessors. Uh, the they look like, oh, these people are succeeding. They forget to look like the, the work, work. The work that these people have put the in yeah. to get them where they are. Today we see oh, uh, uh, the video, uh, we skate, oh, we want to be like them, oh, I do one album, I'm expecting um, artists or uh, I'm expecting people to know me all over the country, it's all over the world. It's uh, a bit misleading. So I would like to make some points about when I talk about foundation, it's like we are talking about the Cameroon music. What is Cameroon music? We have this um, unfortunate advantage, I will call it unfortunate advantage in Cameroon because it's like an advantage that we are so, um, we have a lot of varieties in Cameroon. We have over 160 different tribes, languages, and so is the culture. Like 
you have Bikusi music, you have Makusa, you have Oroko, you have a lot of different and this is good with diversity but the problem with diversity and yeah, diversity can pose is when it comes to in this case of the music industry for example since it's so vast you have an uh, audience being spread it will be difficult for example in Nigeria they have their Afrobeat which is like you know this is it they have like more of the audience those who listen they will listen to this particular music where in Kamo will be divided maybe 10 percent will be listening to traditional Bikusi. 10 percent is listening to um, music from Norway and another will be listening to Makosa and they all have this is just spread all over the place so I think if we want to talk about an urban industry like um, the one that is flourishing in Nigeria I will always use Nigeria as an example unfortunately I know some people will be mad that we are using Nigeria as an example but they deserve it they are results and they sh it's showing so if we want to get like a base and to so be successful like the Nigerian counterparts we have to decide on what kind of music we want to promote because we can't be spreading all over the place and we're expecting to gather at least when you want to listen to rumba you know oh, i'm listening to fali pupa and the rest you know it's this particular kind of music yeah we have to have our identity, identity yeah. music. so since we are talking about urban music some people will be thinking oh we already have identity like makosa is Cameroon, Bikusi, but that is not what Mr. Leo is singing. That is not what Magasco is singing or Kosi or they don't sing Makosa anymore. They don't sing Makosa. So when we are talking about this music in this context, we are talking about the urban music, and it's like there is no identity, and uh, it is because. I think most of the artists they are focusing on individual success. Yeah, it's like, true. yeah, it's like, um, oh, I am this. I've come up with a dance, and then anybody who maybe sing something similar or wants to use maybe one or two strain stroke beat so from that that will be like similar. Oh, this person is copying me, and. And then maybe, and this causes most artists also not to like try to do what other artists, another artist, you know, something similar mm -hmm. because they'll be feeling, oh, they will think I'm copying from this artist. They'll be afraid of the accusation of copying, you're copying yeah. my thing. Yeah. yeah. And this is a problem because if we want to create a, a music, like with a music genre, then it means you have to come maybe it has to be sounding a bit similar not exactly the same but you go from there you have like a basic for example you have r and b you have tones of r and b lot um sorry <laughs> stones of r and b sound music um different artists various artists are doing r and b mm -hmm. but they're doing it in their own unique way but um at the base is r and b it's the same thing in, if we can emulate that. For example, we we'll come out with something we know, oh, this is Cameroon. And even if another artist is doing it, you hear it, even if you are in Jamaica, you know, oh, this sound is from Cameroon. It will not be like, oh, this artist copied this other artist. It's like, that will be like a, a detail, that style of reasoning. So I think the artists, they need to work come together and create something for example we know about this afrobeat mm -hmm. then within the afrobeat you see nigerians maybe when they come up um, they do zanku other artists they do zanku it's not like oh it's just um uh, what is this? Uh, zlatan 
who came up with Zanku, so he's the only one who is going to do be doing Zanku. Everybody is dancing. Everybody, Zanku. yeah, you know, oh, Zanku. I was is even good. surprised to see that the the dance move Mr. Leo created is it the Poyo? People don't even do that. It's yeah. like when he exactly. when they danced it in that music, he and he ended there. Nobody yeah. is even trying to do the dance. It just ended. Just like that, natural death, and it's the same thing. And we had. Uh, Rambo and the uh, Cameroonians are so creative, but it's like all the time we want to reinvent the wheel, it's already there. So we have to, like, just come up, be creative, do something, create an identity. Yeah. We shouldn't be like, Oh, I don't want to copy. Oh, you are copying me. It's like we're creating. And one thing I would like to leave um, to end this point with one note if you are striving for individual success in the midst of a community community failure, failure they know you are really doing it wrong because even no matter how successful it will be as long as the whole the community is a failure you won't shine you will be like um, a diamond ring in the nose of a pig it will still be like nothing it will be a diamond but people will still notice it because yeah so i think the artists they need to come together unity and then they work from there so that's true we have a lot of work to do in this industry mm -hmm. a lot of work yeah <clears throat> yeah the second factor that i think contributes to the stack land nature of uh, Cameroonian music art, uh, industry or music scene is uh, from my observation I've come to the conclusion that most Cameroonian artists have not realized that what they are doing is business music is business that's why they call it music industry you are doing production and then sell and yeah. so when you look the production chain or the business chain in between production and sales you have um other aspects uh, for example the one i want to talk about mostly now um marketing i think um most artists they think they assume as long as you have the talent, you're a good singer, you have your swag, and that's it, you, you will blow. Oh, you can sing, oh, you look good, you can, and the people are going to like you. But yeah. I would like to disappoint them by saying that hmm, that doesn't work in the music industry. Maybe you get your shine for a minute, but to be constant, like a promo. you need promo, promo you need a good marketing background so i would advise my advice would be for them to look for help because marketing is like a whole it takes people three years high school study some even do phd just for mark on marketing so it's not like something you just get up and you are you, uh, you can do marketing no they should look for experts there are people i think in Cameroon who are, can do good marketing for their for, uh, for these artists because as it is marketing is really missing because what happens is an artist goes to the studio put down a, hit, a song and then it comes out uh, on YouTube Facebook Facebook yeah uh, and then Twitter uh, watch, watch out hit is coming watch <laughs> anticipate. out anticipate <laughs> on the this is this date I will release and this is going to be the bomb or oh, this is going to be the and then they, they are quiet and then on the date set date you see maybe from somewhere else, oh, uh, um, go check it, new 
hit oh go check my youtube channel and uh, and uh, maybe you never hear about that particular track on uh, ever again the artist will be like there maybe we go he gets like one or two g to go and play maybe you do but how uh, um, how uh, um, is he going to gain like audience if you don't if you don't do promo you don't do promo if you don't like market if you don't announce make people to know that something is out it's not enough on facebook some go on their facebook maybe they have 10,000 followers 100,000 followers if you are lucky and then they post it there maybe of that 100,000 followers we say maybe just 20 percent even see it. maybe as it is in uh, social media in cameroon people don't even share they don't even you have to force someone like they don't comment or the best they can do is just put like so you go to an artist page you see oh, the artist post the link of his video his music or his video maybe you go there you see five likes maybe 10 shares so that is just to say posting the link on your facebook page is not enough marketing you need outlets you need someone who will be there to like tell you what is in where you can place we we'll talk about product placement which age group will be interested where to get them which mm -hmm. people or how you have to go about with the pro and everything so it's a lot of work for an artist to do you have to just concentrate on music look mm -hmm. for someone to take care of that and i think if you do that we'll be seeing maybe more views on youtube you'll be seeing like hey you are getting attention because like i used to say uh, music is uh, the music career and the music scene is more about packaging it's more like uh, sometimes people are surprised because you see somebody i've heard people say ah, without music Self, some kind of music, how it popular, so mm -hmm. yeah, you don't even understand why it is so. That is what packaging can do. You do a music, maybe it's not the best, but with your PR team, your promotion team behind, and they are always putting it in the mind of people that oh, this is a hit, this is one yeah. of the biggest. They get people to like praise the hit before you know it. The common man, the consumers, they are always already believing that yeah, this song must be a hit. Oh, maybe I'm hearing it on the over the radio. Oh, everywhere I go, I hear it. It must be something. Before you know it, you begin to like the music. You, that you are yeah, even surprised. Sure. Hey. So, I think this they have to think about this. It's not about banning other music from playing in your country. It's more about putting yourself out there. Take yourself, put it in these other countries they are playing to. How many Cameroonian artists do um, publicity out of Cameroon? Maybe few do it like the French, in the French speaking Cameroon, Africa. Ivory Coast, Cameroonian artists, some are even popular there. You have Congo. But apart from that, Nigeria, why are they scared of doing it's difficult for to hear a Nigerian artist like coming in, oh I want to do a feature with this Cameroonian artist. And we have super talented artists, but if you don't talented. put yeah, if you don't put yourself out there, nobody will see you. If you go with your That's talent true. and you are hiding or you are not doing or some like I see other bloggers saying also uh, and Cameroonian bloggers they say because you just do a song you think oh i'm a celebrity you go up and even those who were supposed to promote your song for example bloggers you go and you are sitting on your high horse you're looking down on them you think maybe because they will post your link on their blog is going to generate view for them and even if they <laughs> post really... the, the, the artists they don't even come to like or maybe they don't even comment it's very very funny it's so funny uh, so yeah, so I think uh, the artists, if they want to 
they want to blow like we say they want to like really be getting uh, across borders and struggling within Cameroon they have to think about their marketing third and uh, final point uh, for now because due to time I can <laughs> I have a lot to say but uh, because of time I have to like just leave this to you there is uh, three points for now I know remember I talked about the foundation like creating an identity and then we'll talk about um, marketing so the third I will talk about other actors that have an influence that can affect the uh, music industry because the first two points it seems like I'm talking mostly to the artist but we have also um, other actors in the music industry we know artists are key actors but we have secondary actors we have um, bloggers for example who have to because like we say it's a sim symbiosis it's like you scratch my back i scratch my own if the Kamau music industry is booming bloggers will boom too it's like so with the bloggers to have to work put in work to see that um, the music industry succeeds so that they too will benefit from it. So this will be going to my fellow bloggers and uh, so it will be more I think when we look around the blogging in Cameroon it's still at the very, unfortunately I have to say this, still at a uh, very um, like it's there's more to be done it's like still, uh, we still well, there's still not maybe still on the uh, primary level because i don't know i from what i see blogging is more like people are more after the likes the clicks and uh, it doesn't matter what you're blogging, you know what you are blogging about, so long as maybe you get likes and then you get comments, you put it out. But I think my personal opinion, I think if we want our music industry to grow, we um, bloggers to have to contribute to it. And you cannot contribute to it by trying to pull artists apart or oh, when you see two artists having problems or oh, you go to your blog and then you aggravate the issue try to make it like it's something that is not all those negative energy are not needed now at this um, developing stage because this is still uh, the industry is still, still trying to grow. build is still at the construct we're still building it up so at this level those kinds of vibes or what we say or uh, gossips or dividing um, blow or um, dividing the artist yeah, so yeah those kind of dividing article about artists or you put posts about artists or criticizing each other or having fight or it helps to ridicule the music industry it helps to bring down the status of the artist for example people who think oh this artist is great he's doing this and next day they go to a blog and the blogger is, is describing an artist and is acting as a kid maybe this artist said something wrong or made a mistake and instead of trying to cover it you are exposing it you are making out the artist people will go and say oh they are not They're serious trading for the traffic yeah they want traffic they want traffic but this traffic is not good traffic because it will not lead it will be maybe for a day or two when the artist maybe this artist that was like um everybody was saying like it's going to be the next big thing maybe because of a little mistake he did and the bloggers went ahead and then multiplied it make it to like exponential 
um, um, stand standard or something. At the end, you see this artist maybe losing uh, losing partners that could have promoted this industry or making the artist a status. But the, the next day you see the artist now is down there, nothing. But if this artist maybe, if maybe had blown and become as successful, it will share more lights. It will be the eye and the bloggers now will have more to write. They will be having maybe more traffic because once you put this artist, for example, if you, the Nigerian art, uh, bloggers, they know once they put maybe something about the video on your blog, you will get more clicks. And that is because maybe somehow he got to that stage. But if already now our artists who are struggling to climb up, you are there with your blog trying to pull them, pull down. them down. You are not doing good to the industry. You are not doing good to yourself. Because in the long run, you will be the one to suffer. When it's not going, your blog will be there. And at the end of the day, you will be looking for a side job. Then they will take your time and forget about blogging. So my message to your colleagues to you and your colleagues it will be like try to support it's not every uh, clickbait or that is uh, recommendable to post it's not like um, because you there's christmas today you forget about sunday tomorrow so i think at um, bloggers they have a role to play and I know most of them, they have these grievances when it comes to artists, that artists don't want to support them. They expect, artists are expecting bloggers to promote them, but they themselves don't want to promote bloggers. I understand that this is where we just all have to do our best and, uh, yeah, stop spreading negative. If an artist says something that you think is stupid, don't post it leave it for now maybe when that artist is popular enough you can bring it up or you can start picking on this thing you know you will not it will it will not destroy the person or it will not like break anything at that point so yeah that is for the bloggers and then uh, the other actors i wanted to talk about is the the government or put it that way insufficient support by the government um, we've seen that uh, at some point the government is like absent when it comes to the urban music scene unless when maybe they want to use the artist for their individual games but I think uh, the government needs to create a structure or an infrastructure for this for the music culture uh, uh, yeah it's fair in, in in Cameroon what I mean is this mm, one the biggest source of income of the uh, artists in uh, most developed countries is from um, streaming of their music when it um, on, on TV station, radio station, restaurants, bars, whatever business place that plays an artist music in developed countries, the artist gets compensation for that because you are using your music to their music to promote your business, but. This is lacking in Cameroon because the government has not been able to put in place a machinery. How will you know which business is playing the music or not, what kind of music the radio is playing? All these things, <coughs> if left for the artist or their association or organization to build, it will be too expensive. So the government, in most cases, is the government that helps put in place this infrastructure yeah. so that artists can get what they deserve from their work because most nightclub won't be existing 
if not for music. If there is no music, there will be no nightclub. But yet, they play, they play uh, music in nightclub, in snack, bars, as well or how they want. But I don't know, maybe they collect, I know they collect some money from businesses. But I don't know if it reaches the artists. And the method of collection is still questionable. So I would recommend that the artists, they seek the help of the government so that they can build, construct something that will be able to help the artists to collect their earnings. All right, guys, that's all we have for today about the Cameroon music industry. Next time, we're going to come up with more points in, on how to grow our Cameroon music industry in particular. Thank you all for watching and see you in my next Stay video. tuned. Bye-bye.